Hello and welcome to another Nicometer tutorial. This time this will be more than a, a, a quick tip, a quick modeling tip. It's not really a tutorial, it's a quick tip. Uh, uh, recently a follower did a kind donation with the question if, if, if I can show how to make this bottom of this bottle. And yeah, of course I show him, and I, I do not really see what what uh, how this bottle should look like or this bottom, but uh, meanwhile I know I I made it like he wants it because I sent him a, a file and and uh, and it, it is what he like it, it what he wants to know. The rest of the bottle is uh, straightforward, so you don't need to make this. Just make this bottom here. Okay. I start with a sphere and I need just a little bit of it. So I need a standard sphere for like this. Go in the top, in the front mode and I want to see the wireframe and hit just C for the, on the keyboard to convert it. Then go in the point mode and then rectangle selection, only select visible off, that's important. And I delete uh, this or this, this points here. Bye bye. Then I go in top mode. I delete these points here. And I delete these points. More I don't need for this. Need just this segment here. Okay. Then I go in the polygon mode. Control A to select all polygons. Then I for inner extrude and inner extrude it a little bit, something like, or something like that. Yeah, that should be okay. That's five here, okay, that's five. So the next thing is, hold your control key on your keyboard and drag this down. Okay. Then I want here, of course, a flat uh, surface. So I go to the Y axis here and Make the size to null. Okay, now I go up to about here, let's see. Okay. Now I want some cuts. But because we, when we uh, put it now in a subdivision surface here, you see it doesn't look bad, but uh, it's not what I want. I want some cut. And here we see that doesn't look nice too, but this is because of these triangles and we, we know triangles are bad, but we, oh, we can solve this now. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's solve this. We make uh, quads out of these triangles. So I go to my edge mode and select this edge. And I select this edge and this and and dissolve it. So on in R12 it's MN to dissolve. And if you don't have an older version, you have to go to here to do right, right click and dissolve. Yeah, and now we see we have quads instead of these triangles. And let's make it a little nicer. So I go to my point mode and slide tool. The slide tool is MO on your keyboard. I have it here in my toolbar or you go right click and slide and slide this point more to the middle here. This point is okay and this point more to the middle. So now it's nice. And you see it's much better now. Okay. The next step is yeah, the cuts. I need loop cuts, so KL in R12 and K in loop mode in earlier versions. I make a cut here, about here, so in proportional mode I am, so that's what I want. Then I want a cut about here and a cut about here. It was nice without the cuts too, but I wanted a little more shape, a little sharper. So, yes, that is what I want. That I like more. 
Okay, next step is I want to make these polygons a little smaller. So go to my polygon mode, select my polygons here. Could we have a, they, they were selected, but which else? So, okay, and just hit T for scale and scale it a little. No, so something like that. Then I can go in the edge mode, UL, select this and T for scale again. So something like that. Okay. Yes. That's okay for me. Let's go in there. I so pound so I have to see better the mesh. Nice. The next step is uh, I think I want to make make it here. Yeah, I see. let's let's see how this top bottle looks. I don't have. Yes, yeah, so I want to go up. You see, to the center they go up a little bit. So let's make this. I select this polygons here and just drag it down a little bit or so something like that. So we should get a nice organic shape. Yeah, that looks nice. Maybe it's a little too much, but I don't want to go back with this. I go my edge mode, UM for a path selection and select just E for move and put them down a little bit. Okay, nice. So, next step. Uh, you can, Maybe you guess it. We need a cloner. We want to make this round, around, round, around, around. So, select my sphere, go to MoGraph, hold my Alt key and click on cloner. So the cloner becomes parent of this sphere. In the cloner, we go to the radial mode, to X, Z, and we need just four parts and no, oops, and no radius. Come on, oops. So, okay. Next thing is I want to put my cloner in a connect object so we can. Because if I uh, subdivide it now, so in the subdivision service, you see we have here the hole and, the, and everything. So let's go to the cloner. Hold your Alt key and click on connect. And you see everything is connected and looks nice and smooth. Exactly how we want it. But I see I, we forgot something. And this is, let's see, where is the bottle again? Here we have so small creases in, the, in this thing. Let's make them too. So, go my edge mode. Select this, this, and this edge here. MS for bevel. And bevel it out a little bit, so something like, something like that. Then I want to select everything inside here, so the polygon. So I click with the control key on my keyboard, I click on the polygon mode. Then D for, for uh, extrude, D, and extrude in minus direction, uh, twice, something like this. And again, so something like that. Okay. Let's see how this looks like. That looks exactly like I wanted. But we have here a bad triangle. And here we have a bad triangle too. So let's solve this. But it doesn't matter here. You don't see it and nothing. But uh, I want to show you how to solve it. Uh, I per personally, honestly, I, I wouldn't solve it. You don't see it. So. 
I'm a lazy guy and <laughs> this less work is, is, is possible, but it doesn't matter. So I select this edges here and hit MM, MM. So I, I make an edge cut exactly in the middle of these polygons. And in, now we have quartz, of course. Go into point mode, slide tool again, and a little down here to see we one, two, three, four edges and here the same so we see no difference here now but but we know we did it well what i see now is we have here ugly edges everywhere so if we render this like oops this is the wrong render i have in octane here that is so oh, come on Uh, of course, no, now we have to, this edge I want to see. Yeah, and this is just because of the subdivision surface. We are here in the editor mode on two, and it should be better when if we go here up to three. And you see, everything is nice. And now, here I see something. This could be the case of this phone break here. Yes away now good now let's activate everything here again and now we see we have here a problem and this is because of the connect object the connect object has here the phone mode to as breaks and we need here manually so manual and you see everything is fixed now we have everything nice smooth no triangles and we are happy okay that's it for this tutorial i hope you liked it you see it was just a more, more quick tip than a tutorial but uh, i think we got a nice result so the next uh, longer tutorial i think i will i uh, can record on weekend i should have a little time then and yeah I hope I see you again, or you I hope you, you watch it again when I bring my next tutorial. And so I wish you a nice day, and uh, yeah, see you next time, hopefully. So, tschüss und baba.